Logic Pro X will help you greatly enhance your electronic drum sound. In this video, I will go over some tips and tricks to make sure your electronic drums sound the best they can. The first tip is to create your track as a software instrument track. Let's take a look at how to do that. To create a new software instrument track, you can choose the track drop down menu and choose select new instrument track or you can click on this plus button right here, choose software instrument track, click on the create button, and then on the left hand side in the library, and if you don't see that you can just click on this button right here, and choose drum kit, and I usually choose heavy. And now you're good to go to use uh, Logic Pro X with your electronic drums. These other speaker monitors that I use, Thump 15As, I use two of them in conjunction with an audio interface and I'll plug each of them into outputs in the back of the audio interface and they'll connect to the monitors like this in the back. Here are a couple examples of the audio interfaces that I use. They come in several different brands and shapes and sizes. This is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i4. And this is the Focusrite Scarlett 18i20. Like I said, these really enhance your drum sounds by allowing you multiple outputs to speakers and monitors. And it allows you to jam with other musicians by using the inputs. Tip number four is to use the metronome, especially when playing drums, to assist you in keeping time. The metronome in Logic Pro X is highly configurable, and I will show you how to do that next. The metronome icon is located right here. Click on it to activate it. To set the metronome settings, you can either click on the down arrow here and choose metronome settings, or you can click on the record drop down here and choose metronome settings. The settings right here that I most use are tone, which will change the tone of the clicking, and the volume, which will obviously change the volume of, of the metronome. Tip number five is to make sure to use plugins and several of them if it sounds good. Plugins are by far the most effective way to change the sound of your drum kit to get it to where you want it to be. You can add plugins by going to the inspector tab. If it isn't showing, click on this button here. This is the plugin section here. To add additional plugins, click at the bottom right here, and this shows several different plugins. They're not all made for the drums, but there are several here that you can use. Tip number six is perhaps one of my favorites. You can go ahead and adjust the level of each one of the pieces of your kit to get the levels of your overall kit to sound perfect. In order to adjust the levels of each piece of your drum kit, click on the smart control button right here if it's not already chosen. Down here you can see each piece of your kit laid out nicely here. You can adjust the levels right here by going up or down and you can even turn them off if you, do, if you would like to. You can also choose the amount of compression here and you have special effects to the right here such as tone and room. And this is a really nice way to adjust the overall sound of your kit. Tip number seven is to go into your drum kit plugin and edit all the pieces of your drum kit. Click on the inspector button if the inspector tab is not already showing. As I had mentioned previously, these are the plugins right here. Double click on the drum kit plugin. Here you can see the drum kit that I have currently configured in Logic Pro X. By double clicking on each set of the drum kit, you can change which piece you have, and you have additional settings over here to the right. For example, tune, dampen, and gain. And you can do this to every piece in your kit here. You'll see you have different choices to edit. Tip number eight is to use the track editor. You can hear the different drum sounds there. You can correct different beats that are missing and you can also copy and paste and edit your drums there in very convenient ways. 
I have jumped to another track to demo this because it, there's a recording here already which is shown right here in green. This is my drum track. So in order to go to the editor, first select your drum track that you've already recorded and then go up here and click on this tool right here that looks like scissors which is the editor. And you can scroll up and down if you don't see your drum output here. But this is a really cool section because you can click on your different drum pieces here and hear them. And you can also see the different individual beats of the drum here. So, for example, if you really like this part and you wanted to copy and paste it, you can select it here and go copy and then paste it wherever you want. Or say that this drum beat right here is off, you can take it and move it. Whoops, I already had those all selected. But you can select one individual piece if you want and move it around, and you can hear it as you move it around as well. Because I'm recording for this video, you're actually not hearing this um, move, but um, if I wasn't recording this video, every time I clicked on this, you can see it moving over here. You'd hear these different sounds and you'd actually hear these notes as you move them around too. It's, it's very cool and powerful. Tip number nine is to use channel presets. You can save and create multiple channel presets to save you a lot of time. And you can, so for example, say you were playing with a jazz outfit and a rock outfit, you can create two different drum kits for each setting and save them as channel presets. And next time you go out and play with your jazz outfit, you can just load Logic Pro X, create a new track, and lay the, uh, load that channel preset, and boom, you're offset to go with your favorite sounds already loaded. Okay, now I'm back to the original project that we were working with. Now that we have our channel settings set, which are right here, the plugins and everything else that we have set, we can go ahead and save these, like I was mentioning in the previous clip there. In order to do that, you just click on, whoops, click on this right here and go down to the, cha to the save channel strip setting as. In here, you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want. I'll call this um, heavy new. And now that it's saved, if you're going, in, going to create a new track and a new session, you could go ahead and just click on this, whoops, missed it again, click on this right here, and you can load it by, actually, you can see the other settings I have with my other drum kit, so you could load a different setting, for example, if you wanted to. And now you can see a different set of settings, and you'd be ready to roll. Tip number 10 is to experiment and have fun. There's all kinds of plugins there, and I've shown you the editor and different ways to adjust the different levels of your drums. There's also several different nuggets in there that I haven't discussed in this video uh, due to time constraints. But uh, feel free to go ahead and experiment and you know really dive into those plugins. There's a lot in there to chew your teeth on. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.